items, the beads and everything were coming out of these. Gulf Coast Postcard like brings you greetings from that, Mobile. That is uh, probably uh, late 1700s, early 1800s. Oh, really? Tiny fragments of Mobile's past are like the pieces of a huge jigsaw puzzle. When they fit together, the chunks of old glass, buttons and beads, and wedges of broken pottery paint a picture. A picture archaeologist Greg Spees wants everyone to see and experience. And some of the wooden beams you can see running through this test unit here, and some of the features that were producing, you know, this Indian pottery and uh, the French ceramics like this and all the other little trade items, the beads and everything were coming out of these pits like here that were like trash pits and mm -hmm. features like that. The fragments this of an old Indian pot and the pieces of a French-made ceramic plate were dug up behind Mobile's old bus station. In fact, all the artifacts Spies is studying came from the site of the new city county complex. A team of local archaeologists spent two years digging here. After construction began, they spent two more years sorting and studying the stuff. I mean, it was, it was just really amazing. What, what we found, what we recovered was is almost a half million artifacts, but that's less, way less than 10 percent of what was there. Spees says his team could have spent 10 years at the site and not recovered all the artifacts. But what they did recover is the stuff museums are made of. County funds will turn this space into an archaeology museum. All of the exhibits will showcase the artifacts unearthed here. It's probably the largest database of colonial and early American artifacts uh, for any colonial city in, in, that's been recovered in, in the eastern U.S. And uh, it, it was kind of a unique uh, excavation in that sense. And it will be a unique opportunity for folks along the coast to get a different perspective of our past. In downtown Mobile, Don Davis, Action News 10.